Hello and welcome. This is my 2022 Marin Eldridge Grade 1, which you might have seen in a few other videos. There's some floating around out there. So here's a question. What does this Marin have in common with Joe Dirt? Answer, they both have mullets. I was sitting around the other day, trying to think of something fun to do, you know, kill a little bit of time. I remembered that I had a set of 29-inch Bucklose wheels mounted with Bontrager Connection Trail tires in a 29 by 2.0 size. So I figured, eh, well, why not? Give it a try. And I did. I turned the Marin into <laughs> a uh, mullet hardtail. Boy, it's a tight fit. As you can see, not a lot of extra room there. But there's enough clearance for me to go out riding on it. And that is exactly what I did. Now, I realize that with the very close tolerance, there was a chance, however small, that I might pick up a stick or a pebble or a pine cone or something, jam it in between fork arch and the wheel and come to a rather quick stop but I figure that chance is fairly minimal. As it turned out, the bike rides just fine with a 29 inch wheel up front. I have to be honest here, I'm not entirely certain that I felt a great deal of difference riding along. I mean, it rolls fine, combination of good bearings, I guess, on the uh, hub and fairly low rolling resistance on the tires, although they do have sort of an all-purpose looking tread, there is a nice more or less constant center tread. So when you're going along fairly smooth terrain, it rolls nicely. Now when it comes to climbing, again, I can't tell a lot of difference. It climbs just as well as it did before. And I know a lot of people say that these mullet setups are supposed to improve things like climbing and rolling over obstacles because the 29er has a slightly more advantageous approach angle. That may very well be true. I'm telling you, this <laughs> this particular trail had a lot of rooty bits. Boy. So it's not like I didn't have an opportunity to put that to the test. And perhaps I'm a bit oblivious or something. I don't know, but I just didn't really see that big a difference. And I'm certain it's not because I'm such a powerful rider that I'm just blowing through everything with extra wattage. Hardly. <laughs> when it comes right down to it, it was a fun ride. Yeah. And it was an interesting little diversion to put the <laughs> this uh, mullet set up on and to put it to the test. Descending was pretty good, I'll, I'll say that. It probably raised the front end up, I don't know, less than a half inch, so I'm going to assume that's a fairly minimal increase in the fork angle, but well, going downhill, again, I didn't really feel a lot of difference. It's kind of perplexing to me because so many people make such a big deal out of this. You know, it's not like the Marin is a bad bike either. Th this little stinker is pretty darn fun, to be completely honest with you. And perhaps it's because I'm a bit of a Luddite and I prefer hardtails. I mean, my favorite bike in my stable is my 2019 Specialized Hard Rock. And that also is a hardtail. And it's a 29er. And that one I does have... A significantly different riding characteristic. On the rock hopper, I feel like I can pretty much power through anything. And with the Marin, in its stock sizing, with 27.5 on both ends, I wouldn't say I could power through anything, but I don't have any hesitation to try stuff on it. And that's because it responds well. And that, I do understand, is one of the advantages of the 27.5 tire size, or wheel size. Is they're supposed to be much more responsive, all else being equal. I 
I guess I would agree with that on general principle. That certainly seems to be the case when I compare the Marin and the Rockhopper. <laughs> there were a few spots that were just a bit too slimy from the recent rains that I got off and walked around. I don't generally try to avoid obstacles because, I mean, that's half the fun of mountain biking, right? I mean, if I wanted a perfectly smooth surface, I'd take my road bike out. And I've done that on many occasions because I like all things bicycle, but that's a different story. So I guess when you get right down to the brass tacks, the Marin Eldridge Grade 1 is pretty fine the way it comes from the factory. Yes, I did upgrade to some Wyman rims and slightly better tires, but in terms of sizing and geometry, I think it's pretty much spot on for a nice little hardtail. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I have a lot of fun with it, and it's my second favorite mountain bike. Here we are, out in the middle of the woods, having a good old time with <laughs> a mullet Marin. This has been kind of a fun little experiment, a little bit of a, oh, a lark, as it were. But I think I'm going to put the 27.5 back on the Marin. And I'll save this 29er for something. Who knows what? I have been thinking it would be kind of fun to buy a bare carbon fiber hardtail frame and build something up, and these might be well suited to that. Who knows? The future is not yet set, obviously. And certainly, I am subject to following my whims. So if you enjoyed this video, there is a link to a playlist for the Marin, lower left, and there's a link to another video that I think you'll enjoy, Laura Wright. And as always, seriously, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time and your attention. I'm truly grateful. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day.